Hi, so currently in the gallery we have our winter salon exhibition. We've been open now for about two weeks, so it's great being back here. We've got a wonderful selection of works um, that really show the, um, the warmth and the great variety of colour that's in Aboriginal art. Behind me is a painting by Ross and Chagnari and Priscilla Singer, a collaborative work from two of the um, talented artists from the APY lands. Rosalind's paintings feature the spirit and the energy of the country and this work really shows the dynamic nature of the, both the country and the energy that the artists feel when they're painting, um, representing their country in paintings. Um, next to Rosalind and Priscilla's is a work by another APY artist, the senior artist Junkaya Tapaya. Junkaya just received an Order of Australia which is a very exciting thing. Um, she's a wonderful woman who has been at the forefront of art at Bernabella Community, um, and she's had various, a career that spanned various media, and she's also a great educator and uh, really passes on the stories for her future generations. This is a Seven Sisters story, which is a uh, story of the seven sisters and their journeys through the lands and particularly into her land which is Mount Connor, that large flat top mountain on the way to Uluru. Um, very different style from a utopia, utopia artist, this lovely blue work by Charmaine Puller. Charmaine is the granddaughter of the late Minnie Puller and she inherited the rights to paint Minnie's country and Minnie's uh, ceremonial designs, which include the bush melon and these round circles in Charmaine's paintings um, depict the bush melon and the lines of the ceremonial lines that women paint on their bodies while they perform ceremonies. So Charmaine is one of the very talented younger artists in the Aboriginal art movement. She's now highly professional. She's been um, painting for a number of years, along with her mother, Barbara Weir, and other members of the family. Um, on the back wall here, we have a really extraordinary work from an artist from the Western Desert called Candy Nakamara. And Candy is the daughter of one of the founding artists of the Western Desert School of Painting, Johnny Warren Cooler. Johnny was one of the most extraordinarily creative and innovative painters. He was responsible for introducing the really fine pointless dots in his work that obscured the layers of um, sacred material underneath the surface. Um, and his colours and his paintings have an amazing lyricism like him, Candy is a very innovative artist. She has, does a number of styles. Um, she interprets the country of um, Kalimpimpa, which is a uh, water dreaming site in the Western Desert. And in this extraordinary painting, it's really like the op art of the desert, um, or pop art of the desert, because she's got She's got a fluidity of lines, which represents the, there were hailstorms in the country that created the water dreaming site of Kalimpimpa. And so she's represented these in the fine dots and this kind of streaming quality that represents the rain, as well as um, the country itself. Over on the far wall, another artist from Urnabella Arts, Unarupa Kuliru. Yunarupa, whose name is also Nami Kuluru, um, is painting the stories of the, again, of her country and of the, the women's stories in her country, the two sisters who travelled through the country. Um, I might just finish with the little ceramics that we've got here, as we're doing a little bit of a Bernabella um, thing at the moment. So the, the ceramics are from Urnabella and show the great diversity of art that's happened in this art centre, which is Australia's oldest Aboriginal owned art centre. So, these are just a really small selection of the more than 500 works we've got in stock, um, all of which of course can be seen on our website and of course all of which are available to purchase. Thank you and see you next time.